as black tax. A 73-year-old man wants the high court to compel his 48-year-old son to relinquish 20% of his salary for his upkeep. He says, quote, unquote, I sold my land in Cheptais, Bungoma, to educate him from primary to university. I also gave him a quarter of an acre. I even went ahead to pay dowry for the defendant's wife, which cost me four cows and some amount of money. The Sami says he can't remember. Um, Zecherowo says he's very upset and he would love his son to support him. Is he justified to demand that uh. from his son? It's a no from me. And I, I'll be the bad guy for this one. I'll say it's a no. Because black tax, as you've called it, is the reason why black people aren't able to build wealth. Because you're always taking care of the person behind instead of taking care of you and the people ahead of you and your children and generation. Unfortunately, the son, 48, by the way, Bana, he's 48. That's what, I don't know if son is even the right word. He's a grown man, yeah? Did not ask to be born, did not ask to need food, water, education, did not ask to have any of this. It's your job as a parent to provide. There is nothing that compels. As Africans, of course, you'll take care of your folks and you'll take care of the people around you, but there should be nothing to compel you to take care of your folks just because they took care of you. That was their duty, literally. I think looking at kids as a retirement plan is one of the reasons why we're just like in a cycle of poverty because you think of your kids as your retirement plan when you should be your retirement plan mm. and vice versa so that you build and you leave for the next person and then they build from that as opposed to uh, every every small money you get instead of enjoyment and uh, you know this that 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 <laughs> instead so of enjoyment you know, yeah, any money any little money Priorities, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 i'm kidding i'm kidding yeah instead of investing instead of um figuring out your retirement instead of building yourself instead of relaxing mm. it's always going to family friends, nini, nini, and it's black tax. So I disagree. I don't know if the court will compel him. 20% is also a lot, but you had the kid. It was your choice. It's not up to them. But that is, that is true. Well, the thing you keep thinking is how African parents are very private about stuff. If you have a torn piece of cloth, if you have, if you haven't eaten, they'll tell you don't eat kwa wenye usionishane, usinifanyema, usiniaibishe and stuff. So for this man to have gone at this length, that's all I keep thinking about. I'm just wondering what would get my Where's the shame? Not the, no, 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 not like really. Like, what would make... Eh, is it uh, after a number of conversations? Is it... I agree with you to some extent, but I just wonder, considering how we are brought up by our parents, what it took for him to get there. That's uh -huh. it. Um, we, uh, Amin and I have had this conversation some time before about, you know, black tax. So for me, for this, in this particular case, from your question, it's, this is one of those questions that does not have a yes or no. As a, it's a, it does not have a yes or no. Yeah. So, son brought up by the parent um, is an alipiwa dowry. I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to say but I'm alipiwa dowry. I'm going to say So, some things have happened even past when he was 18. Then he goes to Nairobi, has never returned home for 17 years. Miaka kumi na saba hajarudi nyumbani, haja ongelesha wazazi, hajui wazazi wanaishi aje. Aya. So it is a no for the parent demanding for the money. Dem Kwanza anasema 20%. Ni kama yeni tithe times two. Demanding for that. But then also, it is important for the child to remember where he came from. And nasima mboya ati o, lazima mime ni pate pesa yangu, niende ni jifanye, ni jikuze mimi. Sawa. Lakini, inakusaidi aje wewe. Uki grow, uende, na at how just idea mtu yoyote kunu nyumbani, especially mzazi ambaye amekulea. But Matu, can we agree so far we only have one side of the story? So you can't say that these guys are somewhere chilling and enjoying whatever this money is, is true. making. This also, is true. I like, highly doubt a human being nah, would do that. Let me tell you, I, sometimes I feel like also parents don't care what you have going on with your life. But uni mtu amesema miaka 17 you know? na nyumbani. Um, but who do you wafanya nini? What is he doing what in the 17 years? It's true. So I agree with Matozo. It's 50-50. It's happening 50, in the 17 50. years. But also, usually when people are this loud about, for example, demanding money, it's usually like deadbeats and... I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying she said we have only one side of the story. Usually people who are so loud, like you said, it's, it's so strange that he's gone to the extent of going to court to compel his son to give him 20%. Usually the people who are that loud, it's because there's somewhere they went wrong. It's because yeah. there's, there's usually something happening behind the scenes. It's like um, the parent who disappears from your life for years and then sees you doing well. They're like, oh, Matono, you can't watch TV. Let me come get my 20%. I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but okay. usually, usually there's something like that going on. Well, th this particular parent has said that he's been there, he's paid fees, he's done a lot for his son. 
But I know that this is something that a lot of Kenyans actually go through. At the end of the month, you're already broke because you know you have to send it to so and so, and so and so, and so and so, and your nephew and your cousin, and like, and there's this entitlement, this responsibility that's just become yours, and no one will understand. What do you think? Let's read some of the tweets when we get back. At the 